Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the new freeform gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator. It could be used to make some really interesting and some cool artwork, but there are some problems that I feel need to be tweaked by Adobe, and also I've got some workarounds for you too. Making today's video possible is Bookscouter. Now Bookscouter is a one-stop place where you can grab amazing deals on not only buying some books, but also selling them too. So if you're a student wanting to save some money on those expensive textbooks, or maybe you've graduated and you wish to sell them at a good price, stay tuned later in today's video to learn more about Bookscouter. So the first major issue that I have with the new freeform gradient tool is related to text. Now if we have some text in Illustrator and we want to add a standard gradient, it's not going to be applied. So you can either outline the text or even better yet, you could convert the text to a compound shape in the Pathfinder window. This means that you can apply a gradient and still change the lettering later. So for example, I could change the letter B to a letter A and the gradient will still be applied to the letter. But even when the text is a compound shape, applying the freeform gradient simply doesn't work. And as you can see, there's a denied symbol that appears here. So we must outline the text, which is a destructive workflow maneuver. And if there is a workaround, I actually don't know it right now. But let me know if you found a workaround. The second problem with the freeform gradient tool is an interface issue. When we have applied the gradient and wish to edit the node color, we can double click the node here. However, the window that appears gets in the way of us seeing the artwork and we cannot move the window at all because it's fixed in position. So we must come into the actual freeform gradient window and then double click the stop icon every single time we want to edit a color. That is if we want to see the gradient on the artwork properly. Now this is annoying and it does waste time over an entire project. The third problem with a freeform gradient is again related to text. If we already have a gradient made, we can again change the text to a compound shape and then just sample the gradient using the eyedropper tool and the keyboard shortcut for that is I. If you try this with the freeform gradient tool however, you've guessed it, Illustrator simply will not comply. The workaround here is to place a text over the gradient and then perform a clipping mass function. When working with the freeform gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator, I did want the ability to hold down the Alt Option key to then click and drag to duplicate a node color. But instead, you can just simply select the node that you want to and then click again anywhere else on the design and Illustrator will sample the same color that you just used. So that's okay, I guess. But my issue here is that the actual nodes themselves do not have much scope for customization. You can simply make them a tiny bit larger or a tiny bit smaller. Sure, you can change the spread of them too, but I'd like to see more in the way of changing the nodes themselves. Maybe not just circular, but maybe elongated or something like that. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Another issue with the freeform gradient tool is again another workflow problem. To access the freeform gradient tool, you just press G on your keyboard, and that is after you've already made the gradient itself. So you can then go ahead and edit your gradient, going over your design, making whatever changes that you want to make. But to view the artwork without all of the nodes on the screen, you need to press V for the selection tool, then click off the gradient. And then you have to press G again to go back to working on it. Now over time, this does become annoying and it does take up a lot of your time. So I would simply like a keyboard shortcut or maybe even a preview option in the gradient window. That would make things a lot easier in the workflow using this tool. Now sponsoring today's video is Book Scouter, an awesome place for you to grab bargains on books for selling and for buying them. All you need to do is to find the ISBN number of the book that you want to use. 
So let's take the graphic design textbook here on Amazon. You just copy and paste the ISBN number into Bookscouter and then choose the buy or sell option. Now Bookscouter is going to search the entire web and compare prices to show you the full rundown of the available bargains that you can grab. So as you can see here, for a brand new copy, it's listed at $113. And back on Amazon, it was there for $117. But even more striking than that, is that $20 you can save on a good condition of a used copy, because Bookscouter has found one for $70, and that's in comparison to the $90 on Amazon. Bookscouter offers you free shipping, because shipping is actually included in their quotes. So grab yourself some bargains today, on buying and selling books via Bookscouter. All links are down in the description box below. So there was my issues with the freeform gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know what you guys think of it and do you think my issues are justified and do you have any workarounds yourself? Maybe you have different issues when using the freeform gradient tool. Of course, like and share my content on social media and have a great day everybody and until next time, design your future today. Peace.